So what is it that Palantir actually does? That's the one trillion dollar question we're answering in this video. Now, ever since I started making videos about Palantir three years ago, and I made hundreds of videos, the main criticism I heard from smart investors is that they can't figure out what exactly it is that Palantir does. And that's a fair, valid criticism, because look at it this way, right? If you drive around in a Tesla Model 3, and then you go and sit in the Corolla, you can feel the difference. You know why the product that Tesla sells is so much superior to everybody else. But with Palantir, as a consumer, you don't have that option because they're a B2B, business to business software solution. So you don't have that option to feel it. It's not tangible. So how do you know exactly what they do? That's a fair question and a fair criticism. And I think it's my duty as the voice of Palantir on YouTube to explain to you exactly what Palantir does. And in this video, I'm going to do just that. We're not talking about the price targets. We're not talking about margins. All we're going to do today is show you real life examples of what exactly Palantir does, how it makes money for its clients, and why this company is going to revolutionize the way people do business around the world. Because what Palantir essentially has built, as I'm going to show in this video, is an operating system that will run any business in any industry and it will make it cheaper, faster, and better. Let's get to it. So let's get started right away. So the first thing I want to talk about here is what perceptions people have about Palantir, which may not be necessarily true. Let's put it this way. Number one, that this is an evil software that helps the CIA and the government spy after people. Number two, is that there's no way we can get information credibly about what this company actually does for its clients. It's just a black box. And number three is that it's a B2B business with a small total addressable market. The pie isn't big enough. So from these three criticisms, we're gonna start this video and I promise you by the end of this video, stick around to the end. If I don't change your mind by the end of this video, you can unsubscribe from my channel today. But if I have, and you're not subscribed yet, you gotta subscribe, deal. Let's get this show on the road. So slide number three. So Palantir has three products. Gotham, which is the government side of things. It has Foundry, and it has Apollo and others. Now, in this video, I wanna focus on Foundry because I wanna show you what the commercial side of Palantir actually does for its clients using proven test cases, proven data, and proven numbers to show you how much money and how Palantir is saving its clients. So let's focus on Foundry here real quick. Okay, Foundry. So Foundry on its own, without Gotham, without anything else, just the commercial side of Palantir is currently driving $236 million of revenues per quarter. US class growth is 50% year over year, U.S. revenues are growing at 26% year over year in a really bad year, mind you. Now, the net dollar retention of the company is 111%, not the best in the business, but very, very solid given the macro. And this is the number I want you to focus. The average top 20 client for Palantir is paying $50 million per year per customer to use Foundry. 50 million per year, isn't something that companies just pay because the software is nice. That is the number you pay if this is the next Microsoft. Now look, I'm not here to say slogans. I'm here to show you information. So let's talk about Palantir in real life. So in 2015, which is where Foundry was pretty much founded, 2015, Airbus asked Palantir to build a digital twin for its production line for the A350. Now the A350 is a $300 million plane and it is worth a lot of money for Airbus. Digital Twin is basically a reproduction of your assembly line, of your production line, of everything that has to do with producing the A350 on a digital platform. Essentially what you wanna get is faster production times, safer production, better quality and cheaper production. All that can be achieved through using your data to improve your process. That's exactly what Palantir 
was hired to do by Airbus in 2015. Now in 2015, this is what happened. This was the project. The A350 is a product with 5 million different parts. Imagine assembling 5 million different parts over four countries, hundreds of teams, eight different plants. This is no joke. So how would you take this massive product and actually make sense of it? There's gazillions of data points here from so many sources. So how would you get it done? Because this, this is what you're looking at. Now, this is the final product, right? Production lines, schedules, parts, deliveries, quality, work orders, human resources, defects, worker shifts, you name it. Everything has to go into this circle and make sense in a holistic, singular approach. Holistic view means getting the full picture in order for Airbus to make better decisions to improve their process, make more money, and produce safer planes. Now, wait, we're gonna get to the numbers, we're gonna show you everything. This is just me getting warmed up, trust me. We're, <laughs> we haven't gone through the meat and potatoes yet. This is the end result. I just want to show you before we start, this is how it ended. This is how it ended. When Palantir was done with this project in 2017, two years later, Dave gave Airbus a production time of 33% faster for the A350. Now we're talking about a 300 million plus plane now being produced at 33% faster, purely based on Palantir's foundry implemented. And that's all you have to know if you want to invest in Palantir. Anybody who can give you that over this complex project with 5 million parts, four countries, hundreds of teams, eight different factories, that's no joke. But wait, let's stay on track here. So Palantir Foundry in the context of the airline industry is called Skywise. That's the product they built for Airbus. In 2015, they had 50 users on this platform. Currently, they have 18,000 users on this platform. 18,000 people over multiple countries, multiple continents using Skywise. And why? Well, you see in a second why. Skywise became something bigger than it was originally intended to. In 2017, it left the confines of the plant that was making the A350, or rather the four plants, five plants, eight plants, whatever that is. And it became something way, way bigger, not just a production optimization software. It became something much, much bigger. And let me show you what it became. It became a monster. Nowadays, we have a hundred plus airlines, a hundred plus airlines on Foundry every single day. Now, what this actually means is that the total addressable market, that's the first point we're going to address here, that the total addressable market isn't big enough. So Palantir currently has clients in 50 different industries. The reason being is because their software is completely industry agnostic, meaning that they don't care what kind of business you run. They'll build an operating system that suits your business and your industry. They don't care. You can be an airline, financial industry, you can be an IT, you can be a mom and pop shop. It doesn't really matter. So the total addressable market just in the airline business, which they've absolutely monopolized with Skywise, by the way, is 800 million, 850 million a year. So just the airline industry on its own, out of the 50 industries they're in right now, is, has a TAM of $850 million. And that's just right now half of what they make in a year. Now, this is what's kind of going on in the airline industry right now. Now, Airbus used to have this old software called the Airman Web. Now, they've scratched that. And what they're giving you now is something that's Foundry-based. Now they're using Foundry to give you this thing. Aircraft Health Maintenance System. If you buy a plane from Airbus, you're on Foundry. You're on Foundry, Airbus is paying for it, and you're getting this as part of the deal. You're buying the plane, you get the AHM, Airline, er, sorry, Aircraft Health Management. Maintenance, sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Basically, this is how it works. 
airlines have two options. Option number one is to buy the predictive maintenance software that goes on top of AHM as an add-on. And what it does for the airlines is that it predicts faults before they happen. Predict before. Okay? So AHM essentially monitors the health of your aircraft. But if you purchase this predictive maintenance software from Palantir, which is an add-on on AHM, you get to actually get the predictive software installed on top of it, which I'll show you in a second how much money it saves to clients. It's an astounding number. But there's also a second option, and that's the beauty of Palantir because it's a sandbox. It's an operating system companies use to build whatever they need. That's the beauty of it. It's not one thing. It can be a million different things. What most airlines do today is option number two, is that they use Foundry, they use Skywise to build their own predictive maintenance platform on Skywise on Foundry. So they don't buy the one that comes with Airbus, they use Foundry to build their own. But it's essentially the same thing. Still, money that's going to Palantir to actually provide the airlines with predictive maintenance. Now, predictive maintenance ain't nothing new. It's just, it has never been exercised in this level of execution. Now, Airbus pays for AHM to Palantir because of three reasons. Number one, it increases reliability dramatically. Number two, it saves cost. Number three, it improves the process all along. For example, OEM parts. The people who built the nuts and bolts that go into that plane, they, you know, whatever, eight million parts, five million parts, every single one of them is on Foundry. And because they use Foundry, we get to improve the quality of the parts that Airbus is using. Now, let's talk about it a little bit more. We're talking about a $300 million plane. And the main selling point to buy an Airbus today over a Boeing is these three things and nothing else. So the reason companies would select Airbus over Boeing is because it has better reliability, better fuel economy, and cheaper maintenance. And I'm gonna show you in a second test cases of how Foundry have leapfrogged Airbus over Boeing, and that's coming up in just a second. But before, let me show you what I mean. Reliability is actually a very painful topic for airlines because they die of reliability issues. The first way for airlines to die is by, you know, a thousand paper cuts. It's called AOG, aircraft on the ground. Airlines that suffer from maintenance issues, from reliability issues, they have a lot of airplanes on the ground. AOG, meaning that the plane should be in the air, but because it's not working properly, because it's malfunctioning, because it needs something to be done, it's on the ground sitting, losing you money. That's death by a thousand cuts. The second death is accidents. Accidents is called brand RIP, rest in peace. If a plane crashes, that can be a death sentence for an airline, not to mention the massive human costs, the tragedy, and just the insane amount of lives wasted. Now, with AHM and predictive maintenance that airlines use and pay Palantir for, you get to dramatically reduce this and dramatically reduce these. That's number one. That's just reliability. On top of that, you get to improve these two things, which are just as important for airlines. Number two is fuel. American Airlines spent $10 billion on fuel last year, $10 billion. Now imagine you can generate a 20%. We're talking about $2 billion of savings. What about maintenance? Less parts, less labor, less airplanes on the ground, less inventory. All of these elements using Foundry, using Skywise, help airlines make more money and in the process, make money for Palantir. And that is just one industry. So let's take a look at this. This is an IDG, Integrated Drive Generator. Now that's mounted on the engine turbine. And when the engine pins, it spins this generator, which provides power to the aircraft. That thing is known to fail on the aircraft from time to time. And there's no real monitoring of it currently. But using the predictive foundry software with AI, Palantir helps airlines and Airbus 
monitor everything from exact temperatures. And as you can see here, the costs are minor compared to what it'd be if they let it break full. Now, what do I mean by that? If you don't use Foundry, this IDG costs $500,000. The cost of an overhaul repair costs $57,000. Now, in this specific airline, which they showed in this test case, they had 12 events of IDG per year. That means that their cost within a single year just for this one part were $700,000. The process is simple. It breaks, they fix it. 700K a year, just on that part. Simple. Now you integrate Skywise. You repair the part before it breaks. Minor repair, 20,000 instead of 57,000. Same 12 events. The costs are 222,000. So you just saved 462,000. You saved half a million dollars just on one single case. One case of one problem out of thousands, ten thousands of problems just saved you half a million dollars by preventative maintenance. Now, I just gave you a taste of one industry out of 50 in which this company operates. Palantir serves clients in over 50 industries. That was just one example of one industry with one billion worth of TAM, which they've already took over, in which I just gave you two little examples of how much money they saved just on those two malfunctions. And we're talking about thousands of different events every single day. Now multiply it by an endless supply of clients in every single industry, and then you get the next operating system of every single business in the world. That's where I see greatness in Palantir. Now, if you want to keep learning about Palantir and not focus on hype and not focus on the price target for the next year and learn about Palantir for the next 10 to 15 years and join the community of like-minded people who want to learn more about this company, join our private community. We have over 4,000 members. Just in the past two weeks, we had 300 new members join and I would like you to do the same. Now, I intentionally price my group at $5 per month, the price of a cup of coffee. I intentionally do that to be below market price. I know people charge $15, $20, $30 per Patreon. That's okay. I want to make mine accessible to everyone. I want to democratize my information. I don't want to buy a new Lambo. I just want to pay my bills and have the voice to talk to every single one of you. And beyond that, if you don't like my community for the first 29 days, for any reason, I'm going to refund you in full. So the link to join is going to be below. Join our community. Jump on Discord. Let's get the discussion rolling. Thank you for staying with me. Much appreciated. See you next video.